Hey everybody, this is Tony Renee down at the Hangar Bay in Jackson, Louisiana. And uh, today we're going to bring you a real treat. So this is a brand new wine that we just brought in. Uh, this is Cassara, it's uh, the 2018 Chateau. Uh, so this one is composed of 6% Cobb Sauvignon, 30% Merlot, and 10% Petit Verdot. Uh, it is really, took us a while to pick this one apart. Uh, because this is not like any other wine. This is actually a Lebanese wine. So this right. doesn't come from, from your Napa area, doesn't come from France, doesn't come from Italy. It is its own total different beast. Uh, and it definitely has a place in the market. Uh, when you're wanting something really different, this is going to give you a lot of flavor at one time. This is an extremely complex wine. Uh, so on our nose, we got a, a whole lot of just sort of earthy fruit and everything through it, and uh, and we and it's reminds me of a Malbec. It does. It, it just it, does. It, it I mean, does on have the a nose. It has that earthy, just you bold, know, bold in your face, mushroomy type smell mm -hmm. on the front. So whenever we started to get into the palate on this one, it, it that's when it has to open up. It does. This is a very <laughs> very tight wine. It takes it quite a while to open up, but after it opens up, it really turns into something really beautiful. So you're going to get like a blackberry and raspberry on the front, just this huge, huge fruit right on the front. Almost like that earthy Malbec flavor right. on the front. But then it goes straight into tart and yep. then hits to dry. That's right. And it, so it's going to just have these defined step changes as you mm -hmm. as you drink it and you don't usually see that in a lot of wines you see that in a lot of bourbons where you go through you change 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 but we're seeing that in a wine which i right. thought was really unique uh, the mid palate goes very very dry but you're getting this you know up front you're getting blackberry raspberry and then that tart and then it just goes completely heavy dry uh, after that uh, it leads to almost like a mocha powder rich feel Mm -hmm. uh, it coats the tongue really good, but it's a really, really great wine. Uh, I gave it a seven and a half out of 10. She's not as quite as big of a fan, so she's giving it a, a seven. seven. <laughs> because you have to like Malbacs, you have to like Merlots, and you have to like Cabs all at the same it, time. It, it's, it's a little bit heavier on the mouthfeel, so, I mean, it's just, the, the makeup of it is different. Oh, yeah. So you have it to is. prepare yourself that mm -hmm. this is not, you know, like you said, Right. One of those wines that's made from the well-known places, not even Spain. Right. Spain has some really good wines, yeah. and theirs is a little different, but this yeah. one is... Yeah, and the Argentinian wines are different. It, it, this one is just, I guess, because of where they're at. Right. And, and how the climate grape, and everything else. grapes grow. But it's just a little different. So make no mistake, this is a bold wine. It is. It is a red meat pairing... Lamb, lamb chop, stock wine. You know, lean. Yeah. You're, oh, you're going to have to try it for yourself. Oh, yeah. And for the price point, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to sit there and try it. $18.99. Yeah. I mean, it is a great wine to kind of start something fresh and mm -hmm. totally different. Yeah. I, 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 it's an experience going down the road on this one. I mean, if you have little wine clubs and everything you're putting together, come oh, try it out. Yeah. Y'all come see us at the Hangar Bay.